Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Mavuno Young and Fearless. This is the second week of Finding Me More. Nothing fishy, guys. Nothing fishy. <laughs> We're just trying to uncover our God-given purpose. And last week, we started with identity. Where we look at our identity is found in Christ. So forget what Manuel said. Forget what Elaine said. Forget what Valerie said. Get what your mama and your papa say. Your identity, your own true identity is found in Christ. And right now, I want to take it a notch higher. So I want you to stay with me. But before that, as usual, we want to lift up the name of Jesus. With our usual, amazing, Mabuno Young and Fearless Band. Come on, give it up.
be my strength, yeah. to know what God says about you. But how do you know what God says about you? Judah, what do you think? What do I think? How God says... Okay, first of all, let's... let's. I know how to start this one. Um, wait, what's your question again? <laughs> <laughs> Judah. Judah is a student. Why can't I have zoned out? I always used to sit at the back, so... 
Whenever the teacher is teaching, like you're either playing games or you're doing something, yeah, like, you're yeah. trying to think of what to eat in the afternoon. Like, who is paying for the food wow. yeah. for all of us to eat? Uh-huh. So, but then, like, you're caught because the teacher will notice you're not paying attention. So, yeah. they call you, like, yo, the guy at the back. Mm. And I'm like, sir, come again. <laughs> Okay. Yes, now we know what kind what kind of student you are. Yeah. Yeah. I think all of us used to eat in school. Okay, me used to eat in class. But I used to listen. What do you mean eat in class? Yeah, like I had a bag of food next to my desk. Oh wow. So during lessons I'd be eating. I don't even know what that was about. Now when I think about it, I'm wow. like you couldn't sit through a 40 what? minute class not eating. Yeah, I think we had Nino. I don't know. But don't, anyway, don't <laughs> there you have it. Let me let me there ask let me ask the Judah again. <laughs> let me ask as, let me as, ask let me ask, ask you this question again. Class, it's not really <laughs> Don't oh, don't follow this. At home. <laughs> it's before yeah. we knew Jesus. So please. <laughs> <laughs> when you go back to school, please don't eat in class. Yeah. 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 But Judah, I was just trying to ask, how do you know what God says about you? How do I know what God says about me? Mm-hmm. It's I only know what God says about me if I believe God speaks to me. Mm. Yeah. So then, it's I, I also want to ask a question. Mm. So you are not the only one who has a question. So I, I also <laughs> feel like I'm smart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Please ask. Go on. So uh-huh. does God speak to us? Because when we read the Bible, okay. So this is from my childhood. I grew up in the church. My folks are serious Christians and all that. And so sometimes they're like, God spoke to me, and I'm like, I'm in mean, the same house with you, bro. Like, I didn't see it. He came when you were asleep. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no knock on the door or yeah. the bell did not ring. Like, yo, what do you mean by that? So, I don't know. I think for that, mm-hmm. like, does God speak to us? So, let me be a Kenyan. I'll revert that question back to you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Why would oh. you just ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're making that life hard. All, do right, you so. believe that God talks to us? Currently, I do. Currently, I do believe God talks to us. Can I give you a perfect example? Yeah. So, being an artist, being a poet, I for my for 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 writing and for my own sanity and everything. Sometimes I I decide to go out there into nature. And allow God to speak to me through nature. So I just look at the tree. For inspiration. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. look at the tree and I'm like, yo, it's it's rooted down there with one stem, but then the branches are like wide and the leaves are many, which means I have many talents I've not explored into, mm-hmm. which means my branches should be in countries, it should be in nations, like my my pieces Where? should be should be <laughs> in so many other places. Like wow. people should should know wow. not of me but mm-hmm. of the word of God. Mm-hmm. Because on, the man. tree produces fruits mm. and not the tree. Like, but mm. the fruits will produce trees. Mm. Yeah. But now yeah. you're becoming deep. I'm I know. <laughs> I feel like we should end <laughs> that psalm on there, though. Like, no, I baby. know. But you haven't <laughs> What are we going to say? What are this, we going to say after that? And this is what happens when the, teachers, when the teacher asks a question and you're like, say, please come again. Mm. And then they don't know you've read your textbook before, you know. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Mm. Come into the class. So he was not the so dumb dead. child. He was just the deep one. Okay, okay. You know, sometimes deep do. people get distracted because their minds have gone. They've I wandered know, off deep. to intellectual yeah, things. Yeah. No, really, they're know. all shame. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. shame, you're talking. You're already talking. Mm. <laughs> okay. So how does God speak to us? According to you, how does God speak to you? Okay, for me, um, I'll give you two examples. Can I give two? Yeah. Uh, one is uh, through dreams. And, mm. and uh, the second one is through his word. Supernatural, eh? mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Well, I'm yeah. deep, yeah. yeah. Hey, we are Superhero sorry. movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marvel, <laughs> representing Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> uh-huh. how, how does it speak through dreams? Yeah. Um, um, Mostly, it's, uh, one is uh, shows me things I need to pray against or pray for. So, it, so I'll see a friend in a certain situation yeah. or a friend almost getting to a situation. Yeah. And uh, it will be like a warning. I need to wake up and pray, or I need to be praying about that. Yeah. Or, or it doesn't have to be a friend. Also, has to do with me. Uh, some things which are happening around my life, I need to be very alert and uh, concerned about. Mm. Yes, I won't get into detail now. I think I think there are many people who God speaks to through dreams, but you don't know. 
yeah. you just think you're running yeah. into the deep end. Yeah. You know, or you think or you think you're a hole you, in a dream. Like you wake up and you're just like, ah, what was that? And then you move yeah. on. But let me tell you, those those ones are confusing. For me, I find what I find easy mm. is through his word. Yeah. I hear you. Man. Like just yeah. just yeah. to read his word. Because I mean, everybody, uh, even the Bible says, no one will add anything or will take out anything from the word of God. So yeah. you can't say, you know, there's no, there's no one who will manipulate anything like to change the scripture and say, of course, you know, other when first prophets do that, do that too. Yeah. But then when you read it on your own, you get the entire understanding of mm. what the scripture is saying. Yeah. And I think that's the most reliable yeah. source. I mean, God's word. Mm. It's his word. Mm. I mean, yeah. So I feel like yeah. That's, that's that's what I relate to. I don't have any supernatural. There used to be a song we, we used to sing when we were growing up. I don't know if Kenyans, you guys do wow. that in Sunday school. Wow. Mm-hmm. Just sing, read your Bible, pray every day. So hey, let's pray every day. Oh. Yeah, Susie, let's let's turn it up. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn it up. <laughs> you know, remix. I I I jump in and then I remix. So it started the way it it, it, it started. Wow. <laughs> So the smartest in the class still has to. I like how you said the smartest in the class. Pray every day. Yeah. Pray, pray every day. day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. There you have it. Wow. Hey. You wow. didn't do anything to wow. say thanks for nothing. Rough <laughs> one, oh my God! <laughs> I'm in the kingdom, child. So <laughs> done. <laughs> We'll go to so, um, I, I like what you guys are saying and for me um, being a Christian generally is just having a relationship with God Yeah. and a uh, communication I know Jem uh, since she's married she can uh, support me in this communicate married, yeah. wow. yes that communication yes. is to a relationship what oxygen is to the no. blood uh, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing wisdom is flowing today eh? <laughs> Guys, very what? essential is what I mean. Like <laughs> literally, communication is everything in a relationship. Mm. And um, I feel like it's very important to have this date with God. Mm. Mm. We need to have dates with when, God. When you say date, you mean like when I'm going to eat my ugali, I put two plates down. <laughs> like, God, this is your plate. This is for you. Plate. What do you mean? Yeah. The way, like so you need to find the date. Like Apart the way from you the speak calendar. To God. So just take time. Yeah. Like the way when you go on a date, you see the way you you're precise. Mm. Yeah. You're dressed. Mm. Uh-huh. You're very precise with the things that you do when you go on a date. So you just take time to worship God. Mm. Read your Bible. It's an, like be intentional. Be mm. intentional. Mm. Yeah. yeah. When you when you're doing this and it's very key to do it every single day. Yeah. Yeah. Like you need to always have a date Constant with God. Every yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's how a relationship thrives, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no yeah. good relationship that is touch and go it's usually constant communication yeah. 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 yeah yeah so it's when we say that every time be on your knees be on your knees communicate to god like mm. just talk to god because i feel like um you see the way we say that i need to be in a certain place to communicate i find myself praying in the most weirdest of places yeah sorry guys very weird places. we're not judging i'm with you on that one it's yeah. true because i feel like you can pray anywhere mm. like yeah. talking to god should be anytime anytime mm. you feel like uh you need to holler at him mm. yes so um like there we were saying um you speak to him through the word and um i think it's in the book of second timothy 3 16 that says all scriptures all scripture is inspired by god and yeah. is used to teach us what is true and make us realize what is wrong mm. yeah. like and yeah, we, the scripture is just that place. And funny enough, I find that in every circumstance, mm. I will find someone in the Bible who went through the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I'll be like, okay. So, it's crazy, right? Like, like, the, detail, like the details yeah. might be different, yeah. but the concept is always yeah, the like same. Yeah, like, you know? Yeah, because like, now, of course, they're not talking about, oh, this guy broke my heart, or this yeah. happened, and this happened, That's or true. somebody blocked me. But it's still like the same things that it they were is, dealing with. It is. Pain, yeah. heartache, yeah, confusion. Kwanza the job thing. Eh? When you're broke, when you have nothing, yeah. you remember job. Yeah, yeah. you're like, I've not job suffered yet. I'm like, I'm guy, not even everything. Suffered. That's extreme. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I, I feel like um, just uh, taking time to read the Bible is just so essential. Mm. Like, it's very important, and we need. When we read the Bible, we need to have a heart of surrender. 
Mm, yeah. Like you need to be ready times. to surrender. Because I was I was actually thinking of, you know, like you know, you know the concept of God sometimes in this world it's like God is like, you know, supreme. Yes, mm, of course. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And and I think that picture blocks us from approaching him. You know, in a way that from an intimate level. From an intimate level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what can you tell a person who's like, you know, uh, I feel like I'm a sinner. I can't really, you know, talk to God that way. I mean, mm-hmm. God talks to maybe holy people. You know, Moses. You know, yeah. come. Mm-hmm. Like, like people think God only talks to their pastors. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. like, who am I for God to talk yeah. to me? Oh, I'm like, just young. You know, God talks to my parents. Um, yeah. Yeah, because they pay rent and everything. Yeah, and like just me, like, I'm a useless member of society. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, exactly. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I'm just eating. <laughs> yeah, people. spending their money. But then it's true because I feel like most of the times you'll you'll tell someone uh, like the when we say um, God speaks to us through other people mm, yeah. and confirms His word through other people. Yeah. Mm. I find that most new believers don't believe that God can actually be showing you something to another, another person. Another person. Mm. Yeah. So you you've been sitting with someone's word. You've just been sitting there. Yeah. God mm. confirmed it, mm. but you are someone's just words. sitting there. It's like you're sitting with someone's <laughs> blessing, yeah. wow. and you're not telling them. Yeah. It's interesting because when, like, you feel like you know something about someone and you've never met them before. True. Like for Judah, I, I think earlier I was reminding him how yeah. I, when I first met him, I said something to him. I didn't know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't know him. And then after I'd said it. Later when I thought about it, I'm like, what did I even tell him? <laughs> but I confirmed something yeah. that he was supposed to do or not yeah. do. Yeah. So sometimes you you feel like you know something, but you don't know you don't know how to say it because you think people will think you're mad. But yeah. it's God using you to confirm yeah. the things that He's saying. Wow. So can what I, yeah. is? Can I just say something? If people call you mad for Christ, just know that you're making a difference. M A D, make a difference. So yeah. you're mad. Drop smile. Just you know. It was not in a budget. But but I get what you're saying. Uh-huh. Yeah. But after that, I'm like, do I share my? I know. Like, 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 oh, oh, share. Share. It's all right. It's all right. We'll drop the mic for effort, maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, so what what we are trying to say is yeah. when it comes to uh, the attribute of God, yeah. there is no experience. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. It's true. Yeah, anybody no he speaks to everybody speaks and to anybody. anybody and because yeah. you said that i feel like everyone should experience god by themselves yeah. yeah you need to experience god you need to be in you need to read the word you need to pray to, to experience have that relationship god. yeah because yeah. 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 anya you can't trade on someone else's relationship with god yeah, yeah. it's yeah. you it's just the same way i was saying that Ooh. um the bible is the is a blueprint mm. yeah. Kenya, mm. you've been given a more kenya for life like it gives you guidance. Well, Zuse, do you know what what is more Kenya? Yeah, I know. What is Zuse has become Kenya. Can't you call we call it Likasa? Oh, yeah. Likasa. Yeah, Likasa. <laughs> just sounds <laughs> just sounds <laughs> like Likasa. Likasa, Likasa. Likasa. But yeah, I know. So you know that thing, you know. And we yeah. call it, we call it Apo. But you huh? can call the Bible that. All of us, all Africans are just caught up. Like we're all cheating <laughs> in school. Don't you know. <laughs> you don't God know forgive that, us. Like the, but the but I like way. I like I like but, what you're saying though, yeah. in terms mm-hmm. of um, it's a blueprint. And yes, it's the same word, but it applies to people differently. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we can read the same scripture and God speaks to you something and speaks to me something else. Yeah. I think there's a verse that talks about it in Hebrews. That yes. talks about yes. the word is living. Yeah, and it's 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 always speaking, no matter what situation you're going through. Yeah. True. But then, for you to be able to, what's the name, have that relationship with God, for you to be able to, for God to be able to speak to you, you have to be able to approach Him with yeah. with some confidence. So He says mm. in the book of Hebrews four sixteen, He says, "What's the name? Let let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace." To help mm-hmm. us in our time of need. Mm-hmm. Wow. So no matter what people say about you, no matter what man your teacher said about you, because at mm-hmm. some point they even, my teacher even told me I amount to nothing. Mm-hmm. It's it should not define you. Yeah. Still yeah. approach God mm-hmm. and and tell God. So today, that, what I want you guys to do today is I just take a piece of paper and just write what what you. What God has said about you, mm. and what God said about you, mm. and then I want you to do this. Let me, let me, so that I, 
I want you to communicate with God. Mm. I want you to take that that paper and then just communicate with God and just tell God, God, this is what people have said about me. Mm. And this is what you have said about me. Mm. And may may what you said about me come to life. Yeah, be louder. Mm. Yes. May Mm. may I may people change from saying this to Mm. saying this in my life. Mm. And to tell you the truth, you'll be a blessing. By the Mm. end of this year, Mm. you'll be a blessing. Like your name will change Mm. from ugly to being pretty. Mm. From from you are weird to you are amazing. Mm. Your name will change. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. That's deep. Oh, I think. Yeah, and on that note. And mm. please pray for people to just listen with an obedient heart. Yeah. yeah. Listen to God with an obedient heart. Yeah. So really heart. Heart. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Ash. I don't know, but <laughs> let's just bring it to God now. You know how we can talk, 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 but if um, God's spirit is not within us leading mm-hmm. us and we can't do anything yeah. Yeah. so let us just take this in, in, in prayer yeah. our heavenly father we thank you for the lessons that we have learned this mm-hmm. past two weeks oh god i thank you lord jesus because you have been gracious to us giving us um the uh, the idea of uh, identity what you made us to be oh god mm-hmm. and right now in this week you're you're actually telling us that lord you want a relationship with us uh, no matter where we have been, no matter what we have done, but you still want us to approach to you uh, with confidence because you have given us grace through your son, Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. so that we can come in our point of need, Lord. So thank you, Father God, for everyone else hearing me pray right now, oh God. I pray that, Lord, you will give them the strength to, to know that they're not defined by their family, they're not defined by what their friends say, what the social media say, but what you say, what your word says. Mm-hmm. And they will dig deep in that word and they will look in that word and see what you say about them, oh God. Give them the strength and the understanding even as they read the word, oh God. Mm-hmm. And I pray, oh Father God, that that will be a constant relationship, that they will come to you each and every day. As we say, they will serve a date with you each and every single day to talk to you about their worries about their struggles and everything oh god and i pray that as we go through this sermon series oh god they will be able to find themselves and have a foundation in you christ jesus Mm -hmm. in the name of jesus christ i pray all this trusting and believing amen amen Amen. awesome hi guys such an amazing sermon uh once again, I know you want to hear my takeout. So my takeout is that we should always, all, and I mean always, learn to hear from God. And God doesn't always just speak from His Word or in dreams or visions. He also confirms through His people. Whatever word God has given you will always come through another person. So don't worry about having suspense in your mind or having panic attacks and anxiety because of what you're getting. Don't worry. God has always given you a backup person to come and help you in times of trouble and in times when your mind is chaotic. So once again, there are other people in our interaction groups who've been going through the same thing who are coming out stronger than before with testimonies. So if you can just look link in the description and just go and click there and everything will be perfect you will find new friends and everything will work out for you guys have a nice day and we love you